Representing the 33 to 53 foot class in the center console category, the Blackfin 332cc has an overall length of 33 feet 2 inches, a beam of 10 feet 6 inches, and a max horsepower rating of 900. Engineered for serious fishability and comfort, she has a draft of 23 inches, a dead rise of 23 degrees, a dry weight of 10,500 pounds, and a fuel capacity of 315 gallons. Now, let's hear more from our hosts. All right, guys, we're on the Blackfin 332 center console today. You know, this boat won an award in Miami, uh, Innovation Award for versatility, and the boat's got a lot to offer us today. I'm really excited to see what it's gonna show us on the water. George, everybody knows I stock the boat in the morning. Lunches, gear for sandbar, lifestyle, so forth. The compartment layout on this boat is fantastic. Everything has a home so thought out already. And I can tell you that everything for us to go fishing is ready. I love the fish boxes, the rod holder placements, the live well with the clear window to check on our base during the day, we're ready to fish. The new face of Blackfin doesn't really share any similarities with the Blackfins of yesterday. This is a boat company that's got its own personality. The result of the hard work of a team of engineers is a boat that's got over-engineered bulletproof hardware and a very classy aesthetic. Everywhere you look on this boat, every hawse pipe, every cleat, every everything, is built the way it should be, this boat can take the abuse that the ocean can put out every day. This boat was an exceptional performer in the offshore conditions that we fished it under. The 10 and a half foot beam on this boat and the 23 degree dead rise provided a really soft ride and absolutely ate up the seas. One of the keys to having a good helm station rocket launcher setup is how it's laid out. Blackfin did a good job with this. You had plenty of room behind the rods to rig your tackle and I need a good cutting board. They had the coolest setup on the Blackfin. It actually snapped into place and was very secure. If you wanted to rig a split tail mullet or you wanted to clean a mahi, it was there for you. Rick, I'll tell you what's really coming in handy here. I mean, we're sitting on top of this wreck and trying to hold my position here and I'm really digging this blacked out underside on the hard top. And on top of the fact that it's given us a ton of shade, trying to hold on here with the sun shining underneath it, it's really helping me see these screens. I mean, this is a really small spot and it's really important that I stay right on top of it. It's made that much easier with this blacked out underside and this dash. All right, if we're right on top of it, let's drop a bait on them, Bubba. It's time to get one. One thing that I really liked about the helm station and the transom is they both had clear window live wells. Now that not only looks cool, but today we had pilchards and white bait to use for bait. And what stresses them out more than anything is opening a dark well, blinding them with the light, and then closing it back. They stayed alive beautifully, and we were able to keep them balanced by taking a bait out of whichever live well it was holding more at the time. The tackle center on this boat was incredible, but the best part was is I was able to take the tackle station and make it into my kitchen area and set up for lunch. Dual coolers. I had one on the port side, one on the starboard side. And what I love about that is I had my food in one and my drinks in another, so nobody had to search for anything. I had not only the dual coolers, dual sinks. In between that, plenty of room to set up for lunch. Now, I'm not a big sandbar guy, but one thing I will admit about this Blackfin is it had probably one of the coolest designs for a bow shade canopy that was really easy to set up and was easy to put away and get out of the way. This is just a simple matter of adding a couple of poles to the front of the boat and hooking this canopy top to that and then going to the front of the hard top. And let me tell you what, when we ate lunch at the sandbar on this day, that shade was a welcome relief from that hot sun. Hey Cap, remember when lunch on a day's offshore fisherman sitting on a motor cowling with a warm beer and a sandwich? Not today, old man, that's in the past. Check this out, buddy, I'm gonna tell you what. Um, how great is this sunshade, by the way? When I first saw these things, I thought that was the dumbest thing I'd ever seen. <laughs> this thing is fantastic. All right, I gotta point something out. Did you guys lose weight? <laughs> Listen, you know when you You're get to a kind. booth at a restaurant and you squeeze in? I have so much room. They. This is like, I think the largest lounge area I've been on. This thing is well engineered. So many boats we go on, the lounge area up front's kind of an afterthought. No, sir. This thing is comfortable. Let's point out why it's so comfortable here. First thing, look at how much leg room we've got underneath here. Look how thick the padding is on the seat. And also look at the high backs, this cushion right here. I feel like I'm in a booth in a nice restaurant right here. You know what I'm saying? That's why I said you didn't have to suck in, George. Exactly. Just this one time. Yes. 
<laughs> One of the standout features on the Blackfin for me was all this over-engineered hardware that I saw at every turn on the boat. Among those was a unique pantographic door hinge design that provided access to the console. It allows you to open the door without opening the door into the space so you can walk by. But more importantly, it's a really rugged, heavy-duty piece of polished hardware that they build in-house on this. You can see that they take all of the engineering on this boat very seriously, and nowhere is it more evident than in this door design. Guys, I can't say a favorite part of the day. The whole entire day was great, and I can contribute that to I felt safe all day. The wide gunnels, all the cushioning, and it, it was just, I couldn't have been more comfortable. You know what, this boat, we had a lot of extra time to spend on this boat, and it is really over-engineered, over-built. It is just a rugged, really pretty boat. What a clean machine. Blackfin may be a whole new company. They not only kept the name, man, this thing is built tough.